Secretary Herminio Coloma says it would be better if the next Congress would be the one to address the proposals to amend the anti-money laundering law. This report will tell us why. Senators who joined the inquiry into the alleged $81 million money laundering incident were seeking to amend the Anti-Money Laundering Law, or AMLA. In fact, one of the objectives of the hearing was to determine the loopholes in the said law and how to address it. Presidential Communications Operations Secretary Herminio Coloma Jr. says amending the AMLA within the current Congress may no longer be possible. It would be better, he says, if amendments of the law would be left to the next Congress. Well, maging realistiko po tayo. No? Wala na po kasing panahon. Ang pinakamahalagang agenda nila yung pagproklama ng mga nanalo sa pambansang halalan. Siguro po kung ano man ang tinatalakay sa kasalukuyan hinggil sa mga reforma, dapat ay i-address na ito sa susunod na kongreso. The alleged launder amount was transferred to three casinos after was withdrawn from the RCBC Jupiter branch. During the first Senate hearing, the Anti-Money Laundering Council or AMLAC said that it was, in their own words, already a dead end. This is because under its mandate, the AMLAC is not allowed to compel the casinos to disclose where the money went through after the transfer. Di Malacanang, meanwhile, is hoping that the integrity of the financial and banking system of the country will remain strong amid the ongoing investigation and despite all the new revelations. Coloma also noted that there are certain rules and standards being followed worldwide when it comes to the integrity of every country's financial and banking transactions. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit nag, nagsabatas tayo ng anti-money laundering law at lumikha tayo ng anti-money laundering council. Mahalaga na mapanatili at uh, maipakita yung integridad ng ating financial and banking system. Sana yan ang matamo doon sa kasalukuyang uh, kaganapan. Furthermore, calls to amend the bank secrecy law resurfaces anew following the alleged incident. Malacanang says they have already been proposing for the amendment of the bank secrecy law long before the said incident happened. Isa sa mga ideya na uh, lumi lumutang yung panukala na Um, uh, tingnan din yung bank secrecy law sa direksyon na uh, mas magiging accountable no, ang mga tao sa mga deposito na ginagawa sa kanilang account at sa ganung dahilan maaring mabawasan din yung posibilidad na magkaroon ng money laundering na gagawin sa pamagitan ng banking system. Darlene Basingan reporting for Y News.